Welcome back guys to episode 2 of To Your Eternity where the first episode was just like here are the feels now take it because it already had us going within the first episode with us seeing like this very lonely boy surviving on his own trying to take that brave step outside but then failing but however I guess on a positive note the wolf this you know entity that started out as a rock moss and now a wolf has taken on the will and wishes of the boy and is going to now continue the boy's journey which I think overall just already has a beautiful meaning to it so I am very excited to get into episode two and I do believe the feels train doesn't plan on stopping so I hope you guys are ready so without further ado let us get into things and if you guys want to watch more anime make sure to check out the link above or a synchronized video in three two one go How everything first started. What are the moss? Just bleeding out the moss. <laughs> Death is but a change in state. Okay. Oh, accomplish it in roughly twelve hours. No death is wasted. <laughs> It's it's just so small. It's really those small details where you learn like the entity doesn't even know like you know how to walk, you know, eat, take a shit. Like <laughs> don't jump. Um. Oh no, maybe run. Maybe maybe do jump. Wait, do we become a bear? No, we just died again. Never mind. Ah, I think that is got a pros of proper. Jesus Christ, that was a huge bear. Oh. I think I'm really going to love the sound direction of this overall anime. It's just got a certain, um, real, just, I feel like charm to music, just like this opening. That's beautiful. Ooh. It looks like we're going to meet a lot of interesting people. What? What was that? It looks like there's like a disease or sort going on. Oh, that drawing and the chair. Oh. I would like a mud ball, please. Oh. Oh, 
It's a crab. Oh, oh no, it's another baby. We we had another baby. <gasps> Family of eight. Oh, this is so cute. Mm hmm mm hmm Paralacha. Neat village going on. <laughs> she wants to be a mama. You can. Oh, that's why the adults don't have the ink on their face. I don't think you have off by milk yet. <laughs> I've seen the preview, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was close, that was close. Papa's practicing archery. Wait, so we ha we haven't heard it before? Different crab? The outfits are just really different. Um, she knows. She knows. That's why. Oh, your village was fortunate. Huh, so you're like... A tarnished girl to offer to Onibuma? Oh, she has no idea. That's why there's not that many... Oh, no. No idea. No, 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 uh, no. <sighs> Wait, it's not. The parents just seem very calm. Yes. 
by her own father? Schedule? The family can't even stay with her until the end, are you? Doesn't matter if you travel safely. Oh, Oni is Onigu Masama. Um, the bear that we saw in the. Oh, what's the door? Lady? Tradition. How can you all turn your head, sir? You can't even tell her to behave. You said that if she behaves, she can become an adult, but she doesn't even get that choice. I'm speechless. I have nothing to say to this. What do you do? What are you guys? Hmm? Isn't this just like another... Oh god. Who are these? Who are you to decide someone's death? Look at her, say goodbye. Or save her. Oh, someone do something. Oh my god, how can you sacrifice a child for, for whatever the fuck it is? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. If the, if the bear is, um, the Oma, uh, the, 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 the Denti, we are sacrificing it to. Didn't it technically take a boy's life? So does, didn't it technically already... Uh, lady, just no, lady, just kindly shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're not helping. Run, march, run, run, run. That's your freedom. Yes, go. Just, just roll down it. <gasps> it's a sis. Sis. I know that shit archery from it anywhere. That's what I, I knew. She, I knew there was a reason she wasn't saying goodbye. She would never leave March. Run, March, run. It's all right. Just roll, roll down. Just, just don't hurt your head. Oh. You. No, just gotta flip over so you can. Oh, thank God. Now pick up your baby and survive. You're an adult now.
Oh, is that an eyeball? Oh, it's a boy's eyeball. I love how they went from like, oh shit, that's an eyeball to, oh no, that's a good eyeball. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good theatrics, good theatrics. Scare them away. So that's how he regens. What is this? What is this indeed? She's, she's got, is she's such a brave cookie? Um. Um. <laughs> good talk, good talk. Get another girl. <laughs> A monster. <laughs> and then you went all squiggly and you came back to life. Immortal? <laughs> I love March. What is your name? I just keep calling Boy Wolf Rock. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't. Not really. I think he does, but I think it needs to like trigger. Huh? Food. You're hungry. Okay, we're both hungry. I feel like he's just gonna shove his face up. There we go. <laughs> like a wolf. <laughs> Mama, this works, e even though he is a mama. I rude, rude. Oh, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> what is going on? Bad boy. Oh, watch no. Oh, she's so trouble. This is gonna dog her. Sit. Huh? Huh? 
Wait. You say thank you. He's less feral now. His eyes. What, why did his eyes change color? I thought it went from like the wolf yellow to the boy's green. <laughs> These two honestly work cause she's, she's like, she wants to be a mama and now she can be a mama. Because it is pretty much like a baby, like has no idea what to do. I don't know. Oh, fuck. This is not what a child should be like. Oh my god. That is not something a child should be worrying about. Oh, much. It's not your fault. Just, I want to give much a cuddle. She went back, didn't she? Cause she's so, oh. But what about your baby? <laughs> your newfound baby. <laughs> what is this relationship? But I love it. You eyes, mommy. <laughs> oh wait, that was it. The episode. What? Oh, that was. I mean, I knew based on the preview, kind of, what kind of episode I think we were going to get into the game. But I love that. She's such a good mama. I just feel like this this relationship really does work, even though it's not meant to. Oh, what is going on with this ending? Oh, ain't that lovely? Oh, this is quite a. I love that feature. I don't, I can't even quite put my finger on it, but a mixture of just like you know classic with a little of a bit. Ooh, that was very much like the um, Riot Games. Okay, no, <laughs> if if you play League, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um. Oh, this is a beautiful ending. Uh, ooh, and then it becomes a moon. Yeah, what's with the whole eye shifting? That's... Is this going to be the main arc that we focus on? 
does seem like that, doesn't it? Huh. It begins with the little thing and the little orb thing and it ends with the little orb thing. Damn, I feel like the previews give a little bit too much away. I know that's an odd thing to say, but it's just like, I've seen the preview and if you guys don't want to watch the preview, I'm going to talk about it now, so just skip ahead. But it already shows us that March does get caught by Hyasa again. So obviously we don't know like the outcome. I don't know, I feel like it would be nice if we start watching the previews to enjoy like fully the, I guess, all of the surprises and kind of everything into the next week's episode. But because we already see kind of like, you know, March, you know, being a mama to this boy and then it does look like she gets caught by Hyasa again it looks like it's going to be her sis and maybe the boy like kind of trying to save her it doesn't like spoil everything but I do feel like it's one of those previews that give like a little bit too much away that's me personally that's an odd note but anyways overall this episode really nice episode again quite emotional but I don't feel like we've even gotten like to the climax of the emotions but this like whole sacrificing thing is so upsetting to see and especially because you know March in her nightmares felt that guilt of being just free herself because what about her little brother as well as like Lala? They're the ones that will get sacrificed anyway. So I think it's because of that responsibility that March feels at like what freaking six or seven years old that she needs to go back to the village. So it's, so it is a messed up of a situation because yes, if March doesn't get sacrificed, someone else would. But I really think that someone needs to kind of stand up to this whole shenanigans of a situation because it does look like they are like a culture or kind of like town or like religion of their own. We can see what they're kind of like, I don't know, like sacrifice official uniform going on but they're not from the town and that's why I feel like based on what we've learned they go through towns and they pick the towns that have the honor of, of having so someone sacrificed from their towns and someone clearly needs to go against these people because these people think they are the one and only ones to set like the definition of what people need to do because and feel as though they have the power to pick a little child to be freaking sacrificed so that is definitely I think the little battle that is going to go down you know march this townspeople and going against this kind of religion where they're forcing like this honor and people because as I said if it's such an honor sweetie why don't you go sacrifice yourself hmm? like if it's such an honor so yeah tilty episode for sure but can't wait to see how mama march and our boy will do next week so until then make sure you guys stay awesome and i'll definitely catch you guys next week